Hi, Northmont Kindergarten friends. This is Mrs. Rutledge with another video that goes with Unit 8, Week 2. All right, so uh, we are going to get ready to read our take-home book. Um, you should be doing this activity at the beginning of our second week, um, which is, I think, May 18th. So um, that Monday of the second week of our take-home packets, um, you should be reading this story. And you need a yellow highlighter <clears throat> of some sort, a yellow pencil or a crayon is best. No markers because they bleed through the paper. All right, our sight words that we're working on this week <clears throat> are this and what. So while we're reading, those are the words that we're going to be uh, thinking about so we can go back and highlight them when we're done, okay? All right, so here's our story. Our story is, what can you do? And also our letters this week, we're focused on our letter uh, Y and Z. So you might see some words that have those letters in them as well for practice. All right, what can you do? Put your finger under this. This is for you. What can you do? So here it looks like we have maybe a family. So here's a little kid. They're holding a jump rope. And here is maybe a mom and a dad. And she's saying, here, this is for you. Or maybe the parents are saying, this is for you. And then what can you do? So they're asking, or maybe the little girl is asking, what can you do? What do we do with this? What do we do with the jump rope? Yeah, we jump rope, don't we? Let's see. Put your finger under I. I can do this, said dad. So now what's dad doing with the jump rope? Yeah, he's jumping, isn't he? And they're watching him from in the house. Even the cat is watching. That's kind of funny. Let's see what happens next. What can we do? So now dad, it looks like dad is saying, maybe what can all of us do with this rope? And last page. Put your finger on we. We can do this. And what are they doing? Yeah. Now their mom and dad are holding each end and then they're spinning the rope in the middle for the little girl to jump. So they can all do it together. All right, now we're gonna go back to the beginning and we're gonna think about our sight words are this and what. If you forget how they're spelled, it shows us on the very back. We have the word this and what. So those are the words we're gonna look for and we're gonna highlight them with our yellow crayon or pencil. Right away, I see the word what in our title. Did you catch that? I bet you did. So we're gonna just go over that with yellow to show that that's our sight word to help us remember. What is a tricky, one of those tricky WH words. And so sometimes we have a hard time with words that, ha that are like, when and where and what and who, WH words can be a little tricky. Let's look down here. Hmm, do you see the word this? I see it right here. This is for you. This. And then I see what right underneath it. There we go. Any others? Nope, just this and what. Next page. Let's see, do we see what or this? Uh, there it is, there's this. And what 
can we do? There's the word what. And our last page. Let's see, we can do, oh, there's the word. What is it? This, good job. And I think that's it. So now you can go back and reread this take home book to yourself and then, or read it to an adult, your mom or dad, and then, that's there. And then we have this page that goes with it. So this is page 228 in your packet. And the directions down here say that after you have read the story, what can you do? Children can write about what the people in the story are doing. So you need to think of something that they were doing in the story. So if you go back, what were they doing? Yeah, they were jumping rope. So you can come up with a sentence to write like, they were jumping rope. Or you could say, the girl was jumping rope. Or the dad was jumping rope. Or the family was jumping rope and come up with a sentence to talk about what this family was doing. And you can write that sentence on your paper, nice and neat. Don't forget, you need to have capitals at the beginning of your sentence, spaces between your words, and a period at the end. And you can write more than one sentence. If you wanna say, if you wanna say the family found a jump rope, and then say, they had fun jumping or they had fun with the jump rope and make two sentences, you can do that as well. All right, now you know what to do.